What's going on, Guitar Grappler here. So today I am reviewing the Kramer Stage Master SM1H. Ooh, and yeah. I already did a review on this guitar actually. I did it on the Shockwave purple one in the back, um, but I just got it in Buzzsaw Gold as well. That, that purple one has become like my go-to guitar as of recent. I absolutely love playing it. Um, so, but it's in standard. So I wanted something to drop D. So now I have, you know, I can switch back and forth. Uh, and I've kind of been eyeing a gold guitar for a while. I, I love gold. I love gold. It was out of the ESPs, because ESP just dropped the M1 and the uh, Mirage, and they both have a nice gold. But they're 1200 bucks. This guitar is $1,000 retail. And um, truthfully, this plays just as good, if not better, than my ESP M1000 that I have. And I absolutely love that guitar. So since it's cheaper, and I got this used, I got this for half the price of what the ESPs cost new. And this was technically used, but the plastic was still on it. The plastic was on the back, on the pickup. I mean, there's not even a pick scratch on it. It's flawless, flawless. So it's basically like I got a new guitar for like half the price, which is absolutely amazing, of course. So uh, check your reverb, check your uh, Guitar Center used, and you may be able to find a good deal like that. So. Uh, the big reason I want to make this video though, because if you want to go watch uh, my other one where I review the purple one, uh, that will give you like more first impressions of the guitar. And this is like more afterwards to where I've been playing it. I've had it for almost a year now. And I just want to say that this is such a good modern metal guitar. Cause I find that Kramer focuses a lot on the eighties type playing. And uh, you know, that's where it, 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 I think in the eighties, this is probably the biggest guitar company at one point in time. And, um, uh, because of Eddie Van Halen and just like that that whole shred scene, you know, uh, of that time. So that's kind of what they focus on. But being a modern metal guitar player, this guitar holds weight to any of my Jackson, ESP, any Kiesel, any guitar that I've had, this thing, I mean, like I said, I gravitate towards this guitar. Uh, so, which is crazy to think because, you know, you think you're just gonna play some like White Snake and stuff on it. And I do, don't get me wrong, I do, but, uh, I, I can play all of my metal songs that I write. Play, you know, I jam Lamb of God, Chimera, uh, so, you know, stuff like just metal stuff. And it sounds excellent on this guitar. You know, stuff like that. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up because um, I think they've sponsored Vinnie Moore now from the 80s, one of my favorite players. Um, and a couple other 80s guys, and I've seen this one guy, he's on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. I don't have TikTok, but I'm sure he's on there. And um, he's more like Eddie Van Halen influence. And you've probably seen him because he's really the only like younger guy that I see playing a Kramer. Nobody's really playing him uh, in like modern metal. And I guess it's because the word hasn't gotten out. People haven't got to try him and play these guitars. But I feel like if they did, they would definitely start playing him because of the price point, because they look awesome, and because they sound awesome, you know? Um, so anyways, let's go over some of the specs of this guitar because talking about like looking awesome, this is one of the best body styles out of any guitar ever. Like I love the Stage Master so much. This and the 80s Horizons are my favorite because I really love the arc top that they have. I think that's just so clean looking like a damn sports car. So that's nice. These little cuts and contours that they have. Um, this, I like the recessed uh, volume knob that they have. That's just a cool little feature, which also those ESP Horizons have as well. Uh, so it's a mahogany body, mahogany neck with an ebony fretboard. Um, and actually both of my, the purple one and this one, the ebony on these are so nice. Like the fretboard is one of my favorite qualities of the guitar because they're just so clean, like it's solid black. Um, it's like a high quality piece of wood and you could feel it when you play. So that's very nice. It's a Floor Rose 1000, which are excellent um, tremolo systems. We have a Seymour Duncan JB, which is like your classic um, rock and metal guitar pickup. Um, I love the, some people call them chili peppers, some people call them talons, some people call them the headstock. I don't even know what they are because everybody, nobody's made up their mind on them, but I think they're cool as hell with the Kramer on the 12th fret. If I get dot inlays, I feel like I'm getting cheated, you know, because there's so many cool things you could do. So like putting dots is just so basic. 
So I like having a, a pickup like, or a inlay like this. It just adds a little uh, extra extra spice to the, the look of the guitar. Um, so we got the SM1H here. I love this fat, big Kramer lo logo, like super bold in your face. Um, it just screams like 80s metal, honestly. Uh, the back, oh yeah, this Buzzsaw Gold is like a metallic color too. And if you've ever customized a guitar yourself, you know that anytime they have metallic colors, that's a big upcharge, like $150, $300 a lot of times. So the fact that they have that on a production model is very, very cool. I like how they have the cutout on the back plate. I was able to set this guitar up, change the tuning and everything uh, without having to take the back plate off. Cause you can fit a screwdriver right in there and adjust the screws as needed. It's a neck through construction, nice painted neck. Some people don't like the painting cause their hands get stuck. It doesn't bother me really at all. I, I really don't even notice it. But all my guitars except my, my Strat have a painted neck now, which wasn't intentional, uh, but it's just how it is. These are made in Indonesia. Uh, I have guitars made in Indonesia, Korea, China. And I find like Korea and Indonesian can be like what and what. They're, they're very, very good guitars. Um, I mean, the quality, I don't wanna say, it's like Japanese and American quality is up there, but man, they really, really hold weight to those guitars like for, for me unless i was like a millionaire i would not spend that much money on american or japanese made guitar again i have in the past because i didn't know and i was trying to learn and you know i, I wanted to play them but after playing a bunch these indonesian and korean guitars are like it's all you need like these guitars are excellent you know uh so don't be turned off by that the i like how it has the uh allen wrench holder that's super 80s and then the the tuners are just like standard uh, Kramer tuners. So nothing special there. If there was one thing about the guitar I would change would be that actually. Uh, not that they're a problem, but I kind of like locking tuners on there just so I can pull the string through, tighten it and cut it. I don't have to wi uh, wind it up or anything. But uh, that that's, I, I may actually change. I do have some tuners and I may not, who knows? Uh, it depends on how lazy I am. So anyways, absolutely gorgeous guitar. And then, so if I had a flaw of the guitar, because whenever I make a review, I want to be open and honest, you know, and give you all the information. So playability, look, feel, it's just 10 out of 10 uh, or 9.5 on the look. And the only reason is I, I will try and take some pictures if I remember, but there's like a couple little dots here and there in the paint. And then up here, which you're not going to see in the video. But uh, it's almost like when they sprayed the paint, maybe they sprayed too much in one spot and when it dried, it's not like super smooth. Although the coating that's on top of it keeps, it, you, you can't feel it or anything, but you can kind of see it underneath the paint. So that's like the one little issue is that the paint's not perfect. But I had a couple custom guitars that are American made where I had some issues that were just as bad as that, if not worse. So, you know, that is, it's kind of like one of those things when you're, when you're crafting a guitar and uh, making something, there's there's so many things that need to go right for it to be perfect that sometimes you'll see things like that. Uh, but I, I genuinely don't care. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You can barely even tell. Like I said, you can't even see it in the video. So uh, if you're on stage playing, nobody would ever notice. But uh, so yeah, this thing absolutely shreds. I mean, I have two now. So that, that just goes to show you, uh, as much as I love ESP and Jackson and stuff, I went and spent my money on another one of these Kramers because they are that good. Um, so, you know, hopefully you get a chance to try one. I don't really see them at Guitar Center that often, uh, unfortunately. I just took a risk because I just love the 80s Stage Master so much that I bought that first one. And after that, it's, it's been like, man, it's in my hand all the time. Matter of fact, once I set this thing up, my fingers hurt right now because I played so much on this guitar. I, I like can't put it down. Uh, it was the reason why I made the video because I said, well shit, my fingers hurt. Might as well just make a video and take take a little break, you know? But uh, anyways, this thing is amazing. I highly, highly suggest it. Uh, if you get a chance to play one, shred on it. So I appreciate you watching. Keep on shredding.